Chemical engineering basically is applied chemistry. It is a branch of engineering concerned with the design, construction and operation of machines and plants that perform chemical reactions to solve practical problems or make useful products. First this week, newly discovered catalysts could lead to the low-cost clean production of methanol. Scientists from Stanford, Slack and Denmark have created a new nickel gallium catalyst that could someday be used to convert hydrogen and carbon dioxide emissions into methanol, an important industrial chemical and potential fuel. Methanol is a key ingredient in the production of plastics, adhesives and solvents and a promising fuel for transportation. Methanol is processed in huge factories at very high pressures using hydrogen, carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide from natural gas. The ultimate goal is to develop a large-scale manufacturing process that is non-polluting and carbon neutral using clean hydrogen. Second this week, Stanford Research reveals new ways to study and control crystallization. Scientists help create a novel way to do time-lapse studies of crystallization that will lead to more flexible and effective electronic displays, circuits and pharmaceutical drugs. Stanford chemical engineer professor Senan Bao and her team dissolved organic molecules into a solution and deposited this liquid onto a flat surface. Their innovation was how they controlled the process through which those organic molecules assembled and crystallized as the liquid evaporated. Bao and her team wanted to understand why their process created such an electronically useful crystal lattice, so they launched a new experiment with help from organic thin film characterization expert Aram Amation, an assistant professor at King Abdullah University of Science and Technology in Saudi Arabia. The process of crystallization normally occurs in the blink of an eye. The researchers needed to understand it at the nanoscale. To do this, they had to create a way to record and visualize molecules as they form crystals in slow motion. Third this week, catching cancer cells. Sunitha Nagrath and her lab developed the chip with other members of the translational oncology team, which seeks to produce technologies for improving cancer diagnosis and treatment that are ready for the clinic to help real patients quickly. When the team runs the blood sample through the chip, it can catch breast, lung, and pancreatic cancer cells. These cells can then be grown on the chip to learn more about the disease in a specific patient. This week is chameleon and crystals can camouflage cars and the etc. Just as a chameleon can instantly morph its skin color to match the surroundings, a new method of controlling crystal using light chemistry could make clothing or cars change color on demand. Unlike for chameleons or octopuses, creating man-made materials that change color on demand is really difficult, said Mike Solomon, a chemical engineer at the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor and senior researcher of a study that's held in a forecoming issue of Journal of Nature Communications. The method involves shining a laser on the tiny latex particles to make them assume 3D crystalline shape or pattern, such as the letter M. When the laser is switched on or off, the crystals appear or disappear. Fifth this week, molecular gastronomy gels could tackle obesity. Dieters looking for a bit of help to lose weight could be given help from an edible gel that swells up in the stomach to make them feel fuller. Scientists at the University of Birmingham have a way of combining two food ingredients that when they are exposed to stomach acid will expand to form a solid gel. They claim the gel is harder to digest and breaks down slowly, leaving the person feeling, feeling hungry, less hungry and so reducing their desire to snack or overeat. The researchers are now hoping to develop the gel so they can be incorporated into foods to help dieters feel fuller for longer. And six this week, healthcare, an innovation in oxygen therapy now available throughout the world. To facilitate the work of hospital staff, in particular in emergency rooms, an ambulance attendant, Air Liquide, launched in 2013 the first medical oxygen cylinder with a digital interface. Thanks to its electronic, thanks to its electronic information system,